Hello everybody, I'm Bolt Matrix, and this is Transformers Studio Series 86 Ratchet. I picked this figure up over at the Big Bad Toy Store. It came with Wheelie. Now, Ratchet is your standard core class size, and it is modeled in all white, painted well with his blue and his reds, and works rather well. Oddly, I don't know why they chose to put... I guess ambulance symbols behind the Autobot symbols, because that's not the way the figure looks in the movie. He does come with his dual plasters in that iconic shuttle scene. And yeah, let's talk about that shuttle scene. The figure's box has Ratchet wielding his dual blasters and looking like he's about to do his final showdown. And then the backdrop he comes with is the shuttle scene. <sighs> it even comes with the bullet holes. Or I should say blaster holes. Yeah. When you line it up, and thanks for KR Brickbot pointing this out, when you line it up, those are the same spots. Like if you put him in front, those are kind of the same spots of where he got shot and, you know, murdered by Decepticons in a kid's film. No, I wasn't traumatized at the age of six at all. Ratchet's head sculpt is very good. I wish I could zoom in more, but the camera doesn't like it. It's, it's nice. I like it quite a bit. Nice and silvery. Got a good look to it. I like it. Posability head is on a swivel and can move side to side, though his head feels really tiny. Shoulder has in and out movement for the transformation, and then there's a ball joint in the shoulder, but it, it is a li little bit limited. Hinge joint. Hinge joint for the elbow. Swivel at the upper arm. Fists do not articulate. That's a lot of arti ar arm articulation for a figure of this size. Torso articulation for the transformation. Ball joint in the hip. Ball joint in the knee, though the knee is a little bit limited. No foot articulation because, well, it transforms into the side of an ambulance. But you can pull off some decent poses, which is pretty good. Though I haven't been able to pull off the actual pose that he was doing in the movie that's as close as i could get pew 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 pew, pew before he took a fusion cannon to the chest the individual blasters are painted silverish chrome over white plastic and they feel actually really good the only issue i have is the paint on this stub or this peg this peg is used to peg into the vehicle mode and it makes it very, very tight. So when you push it in all the way, it gets stuck real easy and becomes incredibly difficult to remove from the flimsy plastic that makes up the ambulance mode. And speaking of the ambulance mode, let's get into the transformation. It's really interesting. To start off with, take the chest, fold the chest out all the way, open it up, and then fold in the robot head, and that will snap into place. Though, one thing I keep forgetting to do is, in order to really fold that head in, you really want to grab the back of the, ve of the vehicle mode and fold it forward just a bit. That will allow it to unpeg a little bit easier. And then close up the front a little bit, but first, fold up the top of the vehicle mode. Because if you fold the vehicle mode up, or the top of the roof of the vehicle mode up, it won't close all the way. So you want to fold it up halfway, fold the chest all the way in, then flip up the vehicle mode. Or, you know, just fold the chest in all the way and then flip up the vehicle mode like that. Then take the arms and fold the arms out. Turn the shoulders forward so that the joint opening is pointing towards the front of the vehicle mode. Then turn the arm so that the bottom of the forearm is pointing towards the back. So forward, out, and turn. And then both the arms will fold back like this. And then the elbows will bend so the fists or the forearms can connect to each other like so. Then you can take the entire torso and turn it around 180 degrees. Coming down to the legs next, split the legs apart like that, and then turn them, or I should say grab the hips or the thighs, and then turn the lower legs so that the wheel and the toes are pointing towards the outside of the, of the robot, like that. Then come to the back of the legs and flip open the backs so that the ambulance sides are open up. And then collapse the shoulders while the legs are still splayed out like that, and then fold the legs in and they will peg into place though nothing pegs in really solidly back here unfortunately and then we can flip the toes up and they will snap into place in the wheel wells like so and the wheels are supposed to peg into these tiny little pegs that are coming off the hips and they do 
but they don't stay there. And I often find that the reason that things don't stay together is because these leg ball joints are so freaking tight that the legs don't line up, or I should say the thighs don't line up correctly. And you really have to kind of futz with it until everything gets lined up. And these ball joints at the knees, again, very tight. Even the hips are a little bit tight. So once you've got the hips lined up correctly, then things start to hold together a little bit better, but not the best. And then we can peg in the guns. I end up just pushing them in slightly. I don't push them in all the way, because as I said earlier, they get stuck. And here we have the tiny little ambulance mode. And it's so cute. It's tiny. It does doo doo with no problem. It really feels like an oversized micro machine. My biggest complaint is, yeah, the hinges are there. What you, it's fine. And the lack of paint. I really am thinking of just trying to find this kind of color paint and then painting the windows in the back because, wow, it just needs paint. And let's remove the guns so you can get a better idea of what I'm talking about. See? It's literally a blank canvas. It just needs more paint. Up at the top of the light bar is a little circle that you think would, you would be able to plug one of the guns into, and you can. But you have to be careful because the size of that hole is just a little bit too small, and as soon as you grab something, it pops right out. Or as soon as you grab the gun and move it, it'll pop right out. Overall, though, at this scale, the ambulance mode is fine. It just needs more paint. To be honest, I'm kind of happy with this. Uh, it's got flaws, for sure. The transformation is neat, though. At this scale, this is a this is a deluxe class transformation. I think we've we've had deluxe class figures with a very similar transformation. So I I forgive the transformation for being or the figure for being a little bit fidgety, but I'm I'm just shocked at this size class that they've managed to get as much as much done with the transformation as they have. Now, transformation back into robot mode is a bit fidgety at the head because I, my fingers are just too big. So I end up having to get something to leverage the head out in order to get it pulled up all the way. I, I can't do it with my fingers. Even my tiniest pink, even my tiny pinky is too thick and fat and big to get the head out. In robot mode, the figure does come with weapon storage, kinda. You can put the gun in the back of the thigh and then just close it up, and it does have weapon storage there. So he can store them in his legs. They just kind of sit there and wobble about, though. But it does work! Overall, I like this small boy. It's pretty darn good, and I got it the same time I got Wheelie. And having Ratchet being the same size as Wheelie is just weird, but otherwise it's absolutely fine, and these are both very good figures. Now, as I said, I picked both of these up at the Big Bad Toy Store. Link is down in the description. I like both of these, but if I had to choose one, I'm going to go with Ratchet. Even though Ratchet is devoid of paint in vehicle mode, it's a more fun toy for me, and I think it holds together better, and the joints are tighter. Wheelie is fine. It's a fine figure, but I'm feeling Ratchet just a bit more. It's a fun toy, great pocket toy, good transformation, like a great transformation, and a decent enough ambulance mode. So folks, let me know what you think of Ratchet down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and if you hit the bell and you run into a problem saying that my channel is for kids or something like that, unsubscribe from the channel, refresh your, refresh your window or refresh your page, and resubscribe to the channel, and that'll fix that. Like I said, again, thank you so much for watching. I have been Ball Matrix, and we'll catch you all next time.